morning. It's uh, June 3rd, and we're going to do a little garden update. And here's our container lettuce. These are in one and two gallon pots. And those are actually back there hanging baskets. And we plant our lettuce uh, as we're getting into the heat of the summer coming in in June and July and August. We're able to move our lettuces around to the front of our home. And we put these out front right off our porch. And this is, uh, this is one of the coolest areas on our property that still gets sun uh, later on in the afternoon and that'll help them stop uh, bolting you can see how nice these things are looking and if you've ever uh, wanted to something easy to grow in a pot lettuce is one of the easiest things you can grow in a pot and it just basically takes care of itself if you keep it a little a uh, little water on it and then uh, there's a few extra sarpomira potatoes we planted. Uh, there's a few marigolds. Here's our purple cabbage and our little uh, grow bag here. And there's some more lettuces that we're going to get up potted into some more pots. And there's some citrus plants, some orange plants. So we'll give you another shot of the lettuces there. This is our bucket we put under the downspout with a submersible pump in it. And I pump that water right back here to this IBC tote and our garbage cans and our 55-gallon uh, barrels. Here's the uh, sweet potatoes. And you can see they're almost getting up there six feet tall. I went in here between the strings. Uh, and added another row of strings so when these things start uh, branching off the side I, I've got a string that we can just they can grab on to and, and uh, we can wrap them around you can see this plant right here how it branches off and we'll just push that one over to that string and let me get you so they're doing they're doing pretty good Here's our little box that uh, we're going to redo this box this year once these ginger plants get out of here. And that's, that's ginger and beets. And we plant it here. Uh, it gets uh, afternoon and evening sun. So we put these screens up to kind of help with that so it don't burn up our ginger plants. Go through the gate here. Here's our Sarpomira container potatoes. These are nine gallon pots and these are five gallon buckets and you can see them lined up down through there and we're starting to get a little yellowing and a little deficiency forming on the bottom of these plants so we'll get them fertilized and you can see the nice flowers coming out on these plants and let's see if I can get you really how big they are they're taller than the fence now. So they're really doing good. So if you've ever tried uh, containers in a bucket, if you bury your bucket in the ground, and if you're on a patio or balcony, you can also get a bucket, put some holes in the bottom of it, put some soil in that bucket, then stick another bucket with the potatoes growing in, in, in that, and that'll help uh, your roots growing out of the bottom of the bucket to uh, get more nutrients and your potatoes to get a little bigger. And here's our uh, halcinators. They're starting to uh, fill these cages in. And we're getting tomatoes all on every plant here. There's a couple nice ones. And these uh, tomato cages are getting full. And back here at the back, we have um, our cherry tomatoes that's going to grow up on this trellis. I've got the strings there to uh, go ahead and train them to get them up to the top. We've got one on that side and one right there. And then another halcinator. And here's our cabbages. 
Maybe I'll get you a better shot at it around here. Here's the lettuces we first planted, and we put the screen over it to help with the heat and the sun. And they are just, they are just going crazy. So we have rabbits now, and that gets us some lettuce, and the rabbits some lettuce. And that's a head lettuce there. The backs are leaf lettuce. Here's our carrot box. These carrots are starting to come up starting to grow we want to get you back here and show you these cabbage plants these cabbages are under netting to keep the uh, little coddling moths off of there to uh, keep the cabbage worms off of the plant we had a little bit of damage on this first one but we took care of that and uh, here's our cabbages and our blueberries they're really getting loaded up now. I'm going to get out here today and pick some of these guys. We just did a video last week on our blueberries. And now they're really coming on here. They're really starting to turn dark blue. And they're starting to get really heavily loaded up with blueberries. There's a thyme plant in a little pot. There's our rosemary. More blueberries. And then we have our potato plant in this container and we have some styrofoam coolers here. These are uh, Omaha steak coolers, and we plant our cabbages in these guys. I drill some holes in the bottom and set them in the, on top of the mulch there. And you can see these things are doing pretty good. I'm trying not to block the sun on it. The sun's getting ready to come up. I got some things to do. That's why we're trying to get this video done early. And this is our garlic that we planted, and it's starting to... Uh, starting to die back you can see the browning in it that's what we want because we're going to harvest this stuff probably we're going to let her go to about july that's when we harvest our garlic and we'll be able to get us some garlic out of here hopefully lord willing everything works good excuse me and down through here we have our blackberries trellised up and in front of those we have more halcinator tomato plants and like i say these these guys are all putting on tomatoes right now. And down there's some ginger. So down through here in the front, we have tomato plants. Our uh, blackberry plants, and you can see the blackberries are starting to come out on these guys, finally. We had a few plants that the canes didn't make it, but that's okay, that's part of it. We had some early freezing after the canes were trellised up we had warm weather then it got back cold and we lost a few of these canes but that's okay it is what it is we're still getting a few blackberries halcinator tomato halcinator tomato here's our uh, extra giant marconi i went ahead and stuck it over here and it's starting to do good it's about two foot tall now getting some blooms on it so we're getting We'll maybe get a few peppers off of this guy. Here is an old uh, fire ring, stainless steel fire ring that we've got filled up with soil. We've got a tomato plant planted in it. And here's our Kiowa blackberries. And back there's some potatoes in those little pots. Those are baby Dutch. And here's our onions. These are Spanish onions. I got to get in here and weed my onion bed. But you can see these onions are starting to, starting to get pretty good size on them. So these are uh, sweet Spanish yellow onions. And here's our barbecue grill with our lettuce plants planted in it. And we'll jump back over here. Here's the giant Marconis in the containers. They stunted down really hard after we planted them, but now they're starting to come out of their little thing. There's an Elsa Craig onion right there. It's starting to do 
pretty nice. Giant Marconi. This is our first year growing them here, so uh, we didn't know what to expect. We're not looking for a big harvest. This is just a trial run here. We've got to start getting this soil amended heavy in the fall. And um, like I say, this is the first time we've grown them here. So if we get anything at all, we'll be happy. But we are getting some blooms. And here's our long carrots that we planted in a four foot PVC pipe and they're starting to sprout. So hopefully with any luck, like I say, Lord willing, we'll get a carrot three or four foot long out of this pipe. <clears throat> we did that several years ago and our longest carrot so far growing it in a four foot uh, drainage pipe. And these are new pipes I bought from the big box stores. They weren't used sewage pipe or nothing like that uh i think our longest was ended up 39 inches long so there's our giant marconi there's a giant marconi starting to fill in these cages and now we just got to get the height to them and here's our strawberry bed that we had some extra we had some extra um beets that we planted in here along with them because they're just now getting established so we figured we'd throw these extra beets we ran out of room and you can see all the runners that i'm planting in these cups that are coming off of these new strawberry plants and what we're going to do is we're going to make us a bunch of extra strawberry plants and then the fall we'll sell those guys with this being the charlotte variety it's hard to find that around here you basically got to order it none of the big box stores carry it so all the runners we just put inside the tips inside a cup and then take a piece of a, you can use a paper clip. We, we have some old aluminum wire and you push that wire down in there and hold that plant into the soil and it'll root. So there's our strawberries. We're getting some strawberries on the plant. These are an ever bearing variety we're changing up this year. So beets and uh, Strawberries and here's Glitch. He wants to say good morning. Okay, now we'll go around to the other side here. Before the sun gets up and it's hard to uh, hard to see. Here's our cucumber plants. We're training it up on this cattle panel. And there's our beets. They're filling in really nice. <coughs> you can see we're, we're using the strings to tie up all of these uh, <clears throat> vines and wrapping the vines around the cattle panel. Uh, the cucumber plants. Here's another tomato plant. This is a... Uh, Pulsinator. Here's a couple Elsa Craigs. We've already ate a few of these guys. They're doing pretty good. And here's our other two Pulsinator cucumbers. This is our first year growing these guys. And we've already got a nice little cucumber in there. If you can see it, if I can get in there without cutting the video off. So there's a Halsinator cucumber. Our first one. We got several in there that's blooming. And uh, here's our Spanish onions. We've been harvesting some of these and eating them. So they're doing pretty good in these containers. And then we have our Elsa Craigs here. They're doing pretty good. We've got several of these guys splitting on us though. As they grow, you can see they'll start forming a double onion. <clears throat> that's the first year that's ever happened to us, but we'll give you a shot of these Elsa Craigs there. They're starting to do their thing.
starting to really get big on the bottom but I say like you can see here beautiful size onion but it looks like it's gonna split on us too. make two onions there so we've got probably half the onions in this container or this planter box doing that but give you a nice shot of that and get down in here how nice these guys are we got a few big ones in there that might um there's another one that split show you what i'm talking about see form two onions that guy back there is a really nice one this guy right here and then we've got our <clears throat> these are container potatoes that I really haven't taken care of much. I got so much other stuff going on, but we threw these extra potatoes in some buckets. And these, the buckets aren't buried in the ground, so they're not gonna do as well as the ones on the other side. They're just sitting on top of this tarp that's underneath all of this mulch. But uh, there's some Yukon Golds in there and a couple Sarpo mirrors, but these were our extra ones. We didn't have a place to plant them, so I put them in the buckets and they're doing pretty good. <clears throat> Here's our Yukon Gold potatoes, and they're starting to uh, fill in really nice. I got some yellowing happening in there. I got to get some more fertilizer on these guys. And they're doing pretty good. I think I need to put some more nitrogen on there with the yellowing on the bottom of the leaves. And here's our uh, beans. These are Kentucky blue pole bean. And they're starting to sprout up and look really nice. And they'll by uh, summertime they'll fill this whole trellis in here all the way up to the top and on this side we've got a few <clears throat> we've got a few yellow beans in there we put a half a row of yellow beans in there and we threw some extra beet plants in here too so that's about it for the garden wrap up there's an updated video uh so far so good we're getting ready to get into the heat of summer now so we'll just keep a uh, check on everything, keep everything watered up best we can, and uh, we'll keep you updated. We try to do an update video once a month, and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.